just Roger, are they making the right now? I got a huge gap. Old model Tahoe, thugs. Everybody pay attention. This might be one of those funerals where they're cool and they don't need to stay in the lane. I need people to talk to me, give me feedback. Where are we at? What do we got? Because I'm going to cut it off here in a second if we're too far stretched. How? You're at almost the Pine Hills? Roger. I'm going to cut it. Last two vehicles. Dark blue older model Acura, followed by a newer model Honda sedan. Dark blue Acura, silver sedan. I just move. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Watch out. Watch out. Roger, roll. We've got four points. Get him, get him, get him. is wet gentlemen ladies pay attention Roger I got it wacko white Ford pulled back out from is it an SUV wacko yeah 
Okay, he pulled back out. Roger, stay on your horn, stay on your horn. Let's stay ahead of the lights, gentlemen. Let's not let that cycle. Let's, let's move. Go, Wacko, I got it. I want John Young under control before they get to it. Jess, are you moving or are you still sitting? Roger. I know. Everyone's doing a good job. This is the easy part. I got a vehicle that was in the procession. It jumped out and it's moving up your guys' six. It's a gold Honda SUV. Got back in line, or no, it's pulling up, pulling along the bus. Roger, let it cycle. Roger. Roger. I'm moving. Take that light, then. Roger. Watch your six. Move it. <laughs>
I'll talk to him when he comes by me. I need units up here. They're gonna be in the, we gotta get them in the left lane. They're in the left lane, we are in the right. We got three, four traffic lights to Anderson. They're all red right now, so they're gonna go green in a second. Point him over, Drew, point him over. There he goes, he's shifting. I need units now. Roger, everyone do the right thing, but do it now. Uh, the next two lights are, Drew, bump up to the next light, go, go. These guys will be there. Go, why don't you go grab that green light that just came vacant. Drew just left it. Move up, move up, move up. All right, one of you move up, get up. Drew, you got backup. Go up to Anderson. We're making a left at Anderson. Jess, I need you soon. Watch that car. Watch that car, Jess. Roger, stay on your horse. Roger, roll with the last for right now, but not too long. I need you to get to I need you to get to one of those motors. I need them now. Here comes OPD. What's up? How you doing, Jeremy? What's going on, Sergeant? I tried to talk him into going down Gore, and the funeral director refused to listen to me. I told him over and over. Roger, I need units bumping up. They're almost to Westmoreland. I need units now. Hey! Why do you have a gun in your holster? It's not a gun, it's less lethal. Okay. Per Florida statute, we're allowed to open carry less lethal. I can pull it out as soon as we get done with the funeral. If you'd like, we can go to the funeral cemetery. We're going to Greenwood. Nope, I got Sergeant. too much stuff to do. Worry about okay. that. Okay. All right, Sergeant. Less lethal, 970, Florida statute. Okay. Are you guys security now? You have a security permit? It says legally anyone can open carry a less lethal device. Okay. Taser or mace, and this is a mace weapon, believe it or not. Really? Yes, sir. Okay. Sergeant, I'll be happy to come by and talk to you and show you later if you'd like. As soon as I clear this escort, I'll be happy to go there for you. I got too much going on right now. All right, Sergeant. Where, where are you at? I'll come back to you. I'm everywhere today. That's a nice bike, though. How's that ride? Excuse me, one second, Sergeant. I got to move. Jess, I need you to take my light. Take my light. Bump in, bump in. Stay where you are. Do not move until that last car goes. Okay. Roger. Make 
sure your body camera's on. Make sure your body camera's on. Sergeant, we were under funeral escort. What happened, Sergeant? We were under funeral escort. She's using her air horn, which is not a horn, to clear an intersection. To that is she was already the intersection was already secure. The escort, the escort. Jessica, hang up your phone. Hang up your phone because you're you're picking up the moat, the line. Hold on, okay. Jess, Jess, I need you. Hold on. Just I don't want hold on. You can leave. Sergeant? You can leave. Go ahead and give him your license you for leave. right now. No, you can Sergeant. Leave. I'm on this exit too. And it's right over there. Yeah, Go unfortunately, you're pulling my motor. Yeah. Move your motor so, no, how about we, stopping how about you. we all move over? Her. I understand, over Sergeant. Can I get out of traffic? Let's move out of traffic. I'm going to let you go in two seconds if you give me your driver's license. Give your, uh, Jess, yeah. just give him your driver's license. Please, do it now. I understand. I understand. I just pull out your license. Let's find out what the status is. Just, just, just do what you're asked. I know. Calm down. Calm down. Jess, just hand it to him. Let him deal with it. I'll take care of it. Sergeant, we're under funeral escort. We're no, no, legally it allowed. It doesn't give that you is where you are incorrect. No, it does not give you authorization Please, Go ahead, get in your truck. Go. It gives you authorization. We're not using a siren. Purple and yellow light. We're not using a siren. She's you using an air horn. Do you want me to take it out of your car as yes, evidence? Go ahead. It is an air horn. Second. Thank you, Lieutenant. Not a problem, Sergeant. We'll see you in court. Have a good day. Ride safe, please. Never mind that they're doing their job the way they need to. Thank you, Lieutenant. Sorry for the inconvenience. Go, Jess. Go, Jess. Just go. Thank you, Sergeant. That's a little disrespectful. You have a nice day now. Anything else? You're free to leave. No. That was disrespectful of you. You're free to leave. Thank you. That's an air horn. Don't and we're illegally allowed to use it. Now, Jeremy may have been correct that he's allowed to use that air horn, but they're using sirens and stuff as well, and they're blocking intersections illegally. Now, the local police, like I said there, have control over their cities, and they're hired on by the city council, the city officials. Uh, the sheriff is an elected official. They elect a sheriff for an entire county, and then he appoints his administration, which includes his undersheriff and then the majors and then down and down until you get to lieutenants like we saw there, Lieutenant Wacker. Now, Lieutenant Wacker was one of the people that was interviewed uh, after Jeremy's complaint uh, regarding Sergeant Vidler arresting him for the pepper ball gun. Uh, the sheriff's department was trying to obfuscate and protect Jeremy, and that's why they fired Sergeant Vidler and uh, uh, Corporal Ramsey also got in trouble along with some other people. And that's because the upper sheriff uh, was involved uh, with other politicians as well and a whole party um, with Jeremy. And in order to protect themselves from embarrassment and association, they just decided to sweep this all under the rug. And uh, they didn't want to start pushing with Jeremy anymore. So they told everybody, just leave Jeremy alone. And that's why Lieutenant Wacker of the Sheriff's Department showed up there to kind of like get Jeremy going on his way. He, he basically has authority over the local police departments. So they don't usually exercise that authority, but the sheriff has more authority than the police do, basically. Now, during the professional standards internal investigation that uh, Jeremy started against Sergeant Vidler, they interviewed Lieutenant Wacker there and asked him, like, why didn't you arrest Jeremy this day for the pepper ball gun? And let's go ahead and listen to his responses as the Orange County Sheriff's Office tries to sweep this under a rug and blame Sergeant Vidler for arresting 
uh, Jeremy because, you know, who nobody else arrested Jeremy. But what they don't realize or they don't want to realize is that Jeremy switched out his pepper ball guns that day. They didn't get arrested for their pepper ball guns as we just watched because it was a different type of pepper ball gun. Jeremy changed his pepper ball gun to be a one that looks exactly like a real firearm. Let's go ahead and listen and watch. This interview has been conducted at the Office of Professional Standards. I'm interviewing. Can you state your rank and name for me? Uh, Lieutenant Calvin Wacker. Okay. Lieutenant Wacker, are you aware that I'm recording this interview? Yes, sir. So as we uh, briefly discussed, I'm conducting an investigation into um, an administrative investigation <coughs> into uh, Sergeant Vidler and Corporal Ramsey in regards to uh, uh, their conduct with uh, Mr. Jeremy DeWitt. To your knowledge, has there been any discussion about Metro State carrying pepper ball guns in the past that you've been a part of prior to this incident? Well, I was working um, prior, I was working the Citrus Bowl, whatever it's called, Camping World Stadium one day. Metro State was running a funeral down 441 and they were using their sirens and their horns to take the intersections. I was at the Camping World. Um, Sergeant Dillon at the time, he's a lieutenant now, stopped one of the cars and right on the one way on the south side of OPD headquarters and I went down there to back him on it. Mm -hmm. It was a female, I don't even know her name, refusing to give driver's license, refusing everything, just being a real nasty person. And uh, he took a picture, I think he was just gonna, you know, get rid of her because she was still blocking the intersection. DeWitt showed up, he got there, I went up to him and I said, she's either gonna produce a driver's license registration or she's probably gonna go to jail. So he tired of telling her to do that. But prior to DeWitt getting there, when she jumped out of the car, she's in a uniform facing me and Dylan. I went to do the L, she jumped back, and I really thought she had a firearm on her. And then when she turned back, I could see the little silver silhouette. But it, I, 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 I'm telling you, I, I thought she had a real firearm on her. You cannot differentiate those guns from a real firearm. They don't have any coloring on them, they have nothing. And the only way you could differentiate was that little silver. And we've, mm -hmm. we've all said, you know, he's going to do that to somebody at the wrong time and he's going to get blown out of his socks. Yeah. Um, to be fair, though, uh, could a real gun have that notch on it as well? Well, I see more real guns with just flat bottoms. Right, but could it? Well, I guess, it, it, you know, it could have, a real gun could have orange on the top so it looks like a, like a paintball gun. Correct. Yeah, so... Um, so, uh, have you ever seen Mr. DeWitt uh, carrying a pepper ball gun? He had that on that day. Okay. And he didn't go to jail for that that day? No, he wasn't even, we weren't, nobody went to jail. He wrote, Dylan, once he got her information, he took a picture and then sent him on her way. He wrote her a bunch of tickets in the mail. Um, any reason why he didn't go to jail for carrying the concealed weapon pepper ball gun? Because we know it was a pepper ball gun. You know, everybody assumes it's a pepper ball gun. And okay. when you turn them around, it's, it, you can see the cylinder sticking out the bottom. Okay. So to your knowledge, um, nothing, nothing changed um, other than that notch. Is that what we're uh, saying that, that well, it isn't a notch. You know what a, CO, you know what a yeah. CO2 cylinder looks like? Yeah. On most of their weapons, it's stuck out of the bottom about an inch. You couldn't tell it if I'm standing straight on. Mm -hmm. You had to actually go around back so you could see the side of the weapon, and you would see that sticking out. Okay. All right. I think that's everything. Is there anything else that you know about this investigation that you'd like to add? Not that I'm aware of. Thank you for watching, uh, Police Tube, everybody. I don't know why Lieutenant Calvin Wacker didn't jump on that notch more. I mean, is that the only thing that changed? Yeah, the entire gun changed. He t changed his entire attitude, and he decided he's going to start poking the bear, and he made videos on YouTube before he did it, and he wanted to create a lawsuit with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. All of that stuff changed Justin Wall. That's what Wacker should have said there. It wasn't just a notch on a gun, and no real guns have that notch at the bottom. Um, so anyway, this whole investigation and firing of Vidler was an obfuscation, a brushing under the rug of uh, quid pro quos that was done by elected politicians. And it's happening uh, in all sorts of politics all around the country. In Orange County, Florida, it's happening by 
um, certain elected politicians. They were working with Jeremy DeWitt, and they want to hide that fact. So that's why they're kind of brushing this all aside. It's not the worst thing in the world, but they are allowing criminals to run free on the streets, and they're using criminals to help them in their enterprises. And then when they get caught, they brush it all away. So anyway, I appreciate you watching this exclusive video by Police Tube. I hope you like how I've tied things together here. If you enjoy Jeremy DeWitt content, I've got a bunch of more videos. Just let me know that you want to see them by giving this video a like. Comment down below and let me know whatever you're thinking about this. And make sure you stay subscribed with that bell notification icon hit so you get the notifications. Thanks for, for watching. And as always, thanks for, wait, what's my thing? Uh, as always, have a great day. There we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.